Anytime change is forced upon you, you need to have a winner's mindset. You need to wake up every single day of your life and simply say, I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have where I am. I'm gonna do the best I can with what I have where I am. Whatever limitations are placed upon you because of this imposed change, you're not gonna focus on that. You're gonna focus on doing the best you can with what you have where you are. And when you do that, you'll eliminate complaining, blaming, and making excuses. Because those three things there will drain your bucket. Now I use absolutes very sparingly, but I can promise you, you will never, ever improve your situation or make things better by complaining, blaming, or making excuses. I mentioned working at Montrose Christian, and when I was with Montrose Christian, I had an opportunity uh, to work with Kevin Durant. And Kevin Durant taught me something about seeking out and going for and initiating change. And this is something, again, I want you guys to be cognizant of every single day of your life. See, I got to meet Kevin Durant when he was 15 years old. And I watched him play basketball for just a couple of minutes, and a few things became really obvious to me. One, this kid loves to play the game. He was playing as hard as he could, but he was smiling the entire time. Two, he was very fundamentally sound. Kevin had perfect footwork and, and perfect shooting mechanics, especially for someone of his age. Three, he had a very high basketball IQ. Even at 15 years old, Kevin understood the game of basketball on a cerebral level that would rival most coaches. But four, and this one was blatantly obvious to me, he was slight of frame. Kevin used to get real irritated when I would call him skinny, but, but he was certainly skinny. So it was obvious to me that the only thing that could hold this young man back from being an elite level player would be lack of strength and lack of power. Well, as a basketball strength and conditioning coach and performance coach, this was music to my ears because I knew I had what Kevin needed, that I had the keys that could unlock what he needed to get to that next level. And it took a few months of convincing before his wonderful mom, Wanda, allowed him to come in uh, for a workout. Uh, but when he did, I got so excited to work with this young man that I went a little bit overboard. Because within the first 30 minutes of that workout, I absolutely hammered him. He was laying in a pile on the gym floor about 20 minutes into it. And, and I say pile, Kevin was almost seven feet tall and was 180 pounds at the time. So he was more coiled up like an old garden hose. But he was laying on the floor and he was, he was twitching and, and sweating profusely. Kevin's always been a young man of very few words. So he didn't say anything throughout the entire workout. So I had no idea whether or not he even liked it. So I just asked him. And he looked up and as serious as can be, he said, no, I didn't. But I know this is what I need to do if I ever want to play in the NBA. So when can I see you again, coach? I remember being blown away of the maturity of this 15 year old to lean into change and to understand that he was gonna have to make the personal sacrifice of being incredibly uncomfortable, but he needed to make this change in order to get where he needed to go. And I want you to think about that, that anytime you make a change, it is going to be a prerequisite to you becoming more self-actualized. See, the goal to you raising your performance is to raise yourself, is to become the best version of yourself. Those two things will go hand in hand. And never forget, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you will keep getting whatever you've been getting. And if you don't like what you've been getting, then you need to change what you've been doing.